Hey, welcome my scrapping friends. I'm Vanessa with Scrapping It Up and today we're going to do the tag full folio. I'm going to teach you how to make um, this cute little, uh, it's not so little, but it's it's a folio. So, um, I will put um, a link down below to where you can go get um, this guide, okay? And it has a cutting guide in it. And I will go ahead and um, put the instructions in there as well. I'll just give you the whole thing. Um, and then that way you can print it off and, and put it in a book or keep it to where you can make um, more than just one of them. All right. All right. Let's get to work. I will warn you. Um, I haven't done um, a construction um, one for a little while. Um, as some of you know, I um, was really sick there for several months. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So I might be a little rusty. <laughs> Just a little. Okay. All right. Let's get to work. Um, this album does measure six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I do call it a folio, but there is a hinge to where you um, hook a pocket page to to this album. I'm still calling it a folio. A folio is usually an album that you don't have anything in the spine of the album, but this one does, but I'm still going to call it a folio. All right. All right. For the covers and the spine pieces, piece A and B and pieces C. I would recommend that you use 80 pound cardstock. Um, you can use 110 as well. For demonstration purposes, I'm just using 65 pound weight. Okay. But for the covers, I would recommend using a heavy pound cardstock so it lasts um, a lot longer. Okay. I do have all my pieces scored and um taped um there is a few pieces that i don't because i want to show you how to do the angled pockets all right <clears throat> all right so you should have two pieces of a two pieces of b and you apply the tape to the indented side you always apply it to the dented side unless i tell you um differently okay i mean most of the time it's to the indented side but once in a while we have to change it up all right, I'm just folding on my score lines on piece B. All right. Now, piece B is going to fit right on top of piece A. Okay, right on top of piece A. You're going to line it up. On all four sides, best that you can. Take your tape off. This uh, folio has a lot of pieces to it. That's a very cute folio. Very cute. Same thing. The other piece B right on top of piece A. Go line it up. And if you have a little bit sticking over, you can always trim that off. Okay. All right, so now you have two pockets, okay, two pockets. Piece C is our spine pieces, okay. So um, one of the spine pieces, you're just going to apply your tape to both sides on just one half inch. You're going to apply your tape on both sides, okay, both sides. The other piece C, you're applying tape to both sides on one piece. And then one and one of sides, you're going to apply your tape closest, closer to the scored edge. Because what we're doing is you the side with no tape on one of them and the side with just tape on one side, we're going to hook these together to form a hinge. And that's our spine of our album. See, we're hooking these two together to form this. All right. So, one piece, you have tape on both sides. Do not put any tape on the other side. The other piece, tape on um, 
one side on both sides and then one side you're putting it closer to the scored line because we're going to hook these together okay we're hooking these together all right so the easiest way and i'm just i, I want to check make sure that they're that they're the same length okay and they are so how you can do this you could stick it down like this and line up your you, if you stick it right on top you want to make sure your score lines are lined up okay you want to make sure your score lines are lined up or you can kind of take your tape off not kind of just do take your tape off and you can set these together okay i'm just going to kind of hold that one down i don't know it might be easier just put it on top i told you i'm a little rusty <laughs> i am a little rusty at this all right so i'm just going to line mine up i'm going to put it here and then i'm putting this one right on top of this one and i'm going to line up my score lines And then I'll take my tape off. Okay. I'm just going to set this one back a little bit. And then take my tape off. Make sure my score lines are still. There we go. Lined up. There. And that's why I told you. Make sure that you put it closer to your scored edge. So that way it attaches right at the end. Okay. So there, now we have this. <laughs> so now what you're going to do, I'm going to grab my quarter inch score pal tape and I'm going to put tape on both sides of that hinge. On both sides of that hinge and I'm putting my tape closer to the cut edge. That way if my book doesn't quite, or my pocket, if it doesn't quite fit, my tape is not going to show. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to angle it just a little bit. I'm not going to angle it all the way down to the score line, but just. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these corners. And I'm going to go almost to the scored line almost to the scored line the reason we do this it makes it easier for our pocket page to attach okay and we may have to go clear to the scored line but this will be a start for us okay so now what you're going to do you're going to grab your pocket okay and we're gonna make sure that she fits before I take any tape off. Okay. There was one piece. That was sticking out just a little bit. So I'm going to. Just trim that off. Just ever so slightly. Because that will make a big difference on my page fitting. Now see mine doesn't go clear up to my score line. So I'm just going to trim it to the score line. Almost. Let's see if that fits a little bit better. Because you want it to come up to the score line. Not past your score line. Just up to it. And that works perfect. So I'm going to take tape off just one side and attach. And then I'll take the tape off later. Put it up to your score line. Just up to it. You just want to kiss that score line just up to it when that bends you do not want that getting you don't want that being inside here okay so let's do the same thing to the other side let's make sure it fits okay i'm probably going to do the same thing just up to almost to the score line not quite Okay, you don't want that mark to show. I just turned it around to see if it would go a little bit. 
Okay, so I'm just going to take my one tape off and attach it. Then I'll take my other tape off here in a second. Just up to your score line. Just up to it. There you go. Now you have your folio for the covers. So now I'm going to take my tape off on the inside. That way, for some reason, it didn't quite work. All I'd have to do is remove just from the one side. All right. There we go. There's a spine. And here's our cover. Okay. And those pieces, I would recommend at least 80-pound cardstock, if not 110. Now, for my original one, I used 110 um, cardstock, and it worked out just fine. But for this, I'm just using 60 just um, to do a tutorial for you guys. And then the rest of the album, you could do um, smaller weight, 65 pounds, so it's not so bulky. Okay, You can use 80 pound or 110, but if you do, you need a bigger spine because it is thicker cardstock. And if you use 110 throughout the whole thing, you ain't going to have no room for your photographs. Okay. F why all right so now piece d we do nothing to this piece nothing to that piece piece e again we applied our tape to the bumpy side you're going to fold and burnish fold and burnish on both those score lines we're making our pocket page that will go inside our folio I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I could have just flipped it over. <laughs> piece E. Right on top of piece D. You're lining it up on three sides. Okay. From top to bottom. From top to bottom. Oh, come on, tape. Okay. And that forms a pocket. Okay. Now we're going to attach this to the hinge. Yep, I'm going to have to trim them down almost to the score line. You want to be careful. You don't want to go clear to the score line, but. And you want your pocket up. Okay, you want your pocket facing up, not underneath you. Okay. Make sure, yep, that looks good. So I'm going to take tape just off one side and attach it. That looks good. Yay, yay, yay. Love it when it all comes out. All right. So now, <coughs> piece F. Okay. These, this has a gusset. You're only applying tape to the first half inch space on the indented side. Okay. So you're going to fold on your score lines. And I would probably use 110 pound for this one as well. I probably should put that in the written instructions. You're folding on your score lines, okay? And it does have um, 3 eighths of a gusset. Okay. Which, what we're going to do, and then you're going to taper almost to your score line. Okay, just almost. This is what's going to close up our pockets on our cover. All right. So, get your little book back out. Oh, we, those do not fit. What did I cut those at? <coughs> Piece F. Six and a quarter by six and 
three quarters. I suppose I scored the wrong side. Uh, piece F. Score on the six and three quarter inch side, huh? Oh, dumb, dumb. I scored on the wrong side. Yikes. Okay. Let me remake F real quick. We need two pieces, six and a quarter by six and three quarters. So six and a quarter. I told you guys I'm a little bit rusty. All right, we'll try this again. <coughs> six and a quarter by six and three quarters. Okay, now make sure I get this right. We are scoring, piece F, score on the six and three quarter inch side at half an inch. Half an inch. Then seven eighths. Okay, that works. That works. I knew I couldn't do a video without a mistake. <laughs> All right, blind tape to the first half inch. You can apply tape to both sides or you could use glue um, for the other side. Okay, because this is closing up a pocket, so it's got to be glued on both sides. Okay. Like I said, you you know, you can use glue, you can use tape for one side and then glue to clo close it up. Totally up to you. Okay. And you can use glue to put the whole thing together, too. I just always use Scorpio tape. All right, taper your ends. That'll allow us better easement when we put it in our book. Okay. And I always, um, when I score or when I burnish, I usually try and put the burnished um, half inch underneath. It just seems to give a straighter line. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. All right. Now, piece B, that pocket. Okay. These should fit right inside there, just up to that score line. Beautiful. And I'm just going to take one off at a time. Just easier if you just take one off, then you can take the other one off. Okay, looks good. <coughs> yeah, you have to let me know down in the comments what you think about it if you made this folio. It's a fun little quick folio, and it will hold several. Several photos, too. Oh, I forgot to check before I'd done this. That was dumb. Got in too big of a hurry. Okay, there's our base of our folio. Okay, so what you should have... Oops. And I... I don't have my pencil here. Usually I mark front. So that way, because this is the, this is the front with the pocket coming up towards us. This, this is the front and this is the back. Let me go get my pencil real quick. 
just a second. I know if I don't mark that, I'm going to regret it. So I'm just going to put an F. So that way I know. All right. Piece G. Piece G, H, I, and J, and K is the next elements. Okay. So you're applying the tape on the indented side, fold and burnish. On G, do the same thing to H. And I. And J. K is a pocket. We're going to miter. K is a pocket. So where we scored... We're just going to cut right through that on both sides, right through the middle of that. And then you're going to fold. This is a um, closing mechanism that will hold everything in place. And you don't have to do that. You can use magnets. You don't have to do this piece K if you don't want to. Totally up to you. And I need to re. Alright. Alright. So piece G. It says, attach on the inside of the front cover on the left-hand side. Okay. On the left-hand side. So, piece G is going to go first. It's going to go right here. Okay. And you're going to line it up with your album. And you're going to line it up with um, this pocket. This is a inside of the front cover okay inside of the front cover and you're going to attach it right along your cover piece okay because you don't want that to be in the fold at all because you have a three-eighths of a gusset right here okay do not attach it in your gusset open that up then you're going to put piece H right smack dab up against that half inch that we attached. Just right up to it. Okay. Then you're going to open it up again. Piece I is going to go again right against that half inch space. Okay. Right up against it. Okay. And that creates a waterfall. Okay. Ain't that nifty? Now, piece J is going to go on the opposite side. Okay. On the opposite side. We attached G, H, and I. This is going on the opposite side. Okay. So, I'm going to line it up. I'm going to center it from top to bottom. Center it from top to bottom. And attach. Just up to that score line. Do not go over... That score line, because that is a gusset for the spine. Do not go over. So here, you could just put a magnet. Or, you can put this pocket here. And, I'm, um, so you would decorate piece G before you put this pocket. Okay? That way your paper is peeking out. <laughs> or you can just do a magnet. Totally up to you. Okay? So I'm just going to line my, I'm going to pretend I just put design paper on this. Your pocket is going to go right here. Okay. So that's where you attach your pocket. And then, let me find a, let's see if I got one. I should have one. 
So whatever goes in this pocket holds this all nice and tidy. Okay. I'll go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and attach mine down. Okay. And you should have a little bit of a gap in between your pocket and piece J. And give her a burnish okay so there's that aspect and I'll put piece K here we'll do a flip through when we get done so that way you know if you you know if you kind of got lost you can um, look back to see where I put it all right so now we have piece L, M, and N. L, M, and N. All right. So N is a belly band. And of course, you know, you don't have to do this belly band at all if you don't want to. It's optional. Okay. That's just another design element. Piece M, we applied our tape on the bumpy, on the indented side. I'm sorry. Jeez. On the indented side. Then we scored at five. Five and a quarter, I believe. You're folding that underneath. You want that to be underneath like that. Piece L, tape on the indented side, fold and burnish. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Piece L, attach on the inside of piece F. Piece F should be this piece. Oh, that's piece N. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was piece F. That was a piece as I... There we go. Piece F. <laughs> All right. <coughs> piece L. Attach on the inside of piece F on the right side, just up to the score line. Okay. To the inside of piece F. This is piece F. Okay. This is the outside. This is the inside here. Okay. You're attaching it on the right side just up to the score line. All right. And you're going to center it from top to bottom. Don't go past your score line because you don't want that in. You just want it up to it. Okay. You do not want that piece L to be in that fold at all. Piece M. You're attaching on the left hand side. And you're lining it up with piece M. Okay. This right up. This right up against the edge. When you got it, take your tape off. Okay. So that opens up like that. Now, piece N attaches to the inside of piece M. So, you can attach it here. I had mine here. Okay, and then that way the tag that you put in here peeks out. Okay. So, piece N, I attached it about an inch away. So, I'm just going to line this up on my mat here. About an inch away from your score line. Okay. About an inch away from this score line. So I'm just going to line it up on my mat. And stick her down. That way when you put something in the pocket, it peeks out. Like I said, this, this belly band is optional. You don't have to put your belly band in here okay so that way when it's folded your tag sticks out or whatever you put in there all right give her a good burnish all right there we go now piece o and piece 
P. Those are angled pockets. Let's do those when we get done. Well, our angled pockets are going to go here. Let's go ahead and get... Let's do... Let's skip those for right now. Piece Q. Piece Q. Okay, you've applied your tape to the indented side and you're folding and burnishing. Okay, should have two of these. And it says, attach on the inside of the front covers on each side, just up to the score line. So, you're on the back side. It should be on the back. And I need to change that. Cause, right because Q is going to go here and here and then R and S go here and here and then T is a little pocket that goes on there okay so let's do this. So piece Q is going one on each side. Okay. One on each side. This is the back side of the in the back cover inside. Okay. And again, you're going to line it up with your um, back cover. Okay. Do not go in that score line. Okay. The other piece goes right on the other side. Again, you're lining it up with that piece B cover. Okay. Come on. So now you're going to open up Q. Yeah, this kind of stuck out just a hair. No, no, not really. Okay. Piece R. Piece R is going to go at the bottom. So you're folding on your score lines. Um, I did place my tape closer to the scored line. Okay, I did place my tape closer to the scored line. And it does have an eighth of an inch gusset. Okay. So you're going to line it up from side to side. Okay. Let's get this one. Hold on your score lines. Okay. And you got an eighth of an inch score line. And this one goes at the top. Okay. So, you, and you're going to line them up. Okay. You're going to line them up. You want them to line up. Okay. So, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and get these down. So, I'll put S down first. You're going to center it from side to side. Okay. Same amount of space on both sides. And see, I widened this. Really, we, we could have even went just a little bit longer, but that's all right. We could have went a little bit more on each side, but that's all right. Make sure your gusset is on top. You're not attaching your gusset down. Okay. So there's piece S. So now I'm just going to lay... R right on top. I'm lining it up. Okay. And stick her down. And then give her a good burnish. Come on. Jeez Louise. Having a problem with tape today. 
Tape is not to my friend. I hope you make this. It is very cute. So now R goes underneath and then S. Then we have a pocket. You can use a magnet or you can do a pocket. So again, we created an X. You're going to go right through that. Right through that X that we scored. And fold and branch. And this creates a little talk, a pocket, a pocket where you can stick tags in and it holds everything nice and tidy. And it is smaller, so you'll want to decorate piece R before you put on T. And I probably should put that in the cut and guide. I didn't see that, so I need to add that. I need to add that. So it just goes right here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put mine on here. Okay. And it's just, you can set, you can um, just make sure when you put T on here, get, get rid of that gusset. Get rid of that gusset because you do not want to put that pocket on that gusset. Okay. You do not want to put that pocket on that gusset. Okay. So you can line it up right along your gusset line or you can off center it just a little bit. You just got to make sure you have enough space to where you can stick your tags down. OK, I'm going to stick mine. I'm going to think I'm going to stick. Make sure you decorate with paper first and then I would leave a little bit of the paper peeking out here. Pretend pretend this is paper. We'll pretend. So this would be my paper on my piece. So then I would leave my paper sticking out like that. So that's where I would stick mine. Okay. So I'm just going to leave a little bit. We'll just pretend that I put paper on it. Okay. Oh, I'm struggling with tape today. Eeks. All right. So you have a pocket here. Now that will hold that all nice and shut. Nice and tidy. Okay. So now we have those angled pockets. Okay. We have the angled pockets. So let's get those done. <coughs> All right, so you have, let's put this up for a second. I'll put it over here. You have two pieces of P and two pieces of Q. Okay, they're going to be, um, just a second, let me, let me look here real quick. All right. I just wanted to make sure. All right. So these angled pockets are going right here. This is piece F. This is what closed up our pockets. So they need to mirror each other. All right. They need to mirror each other. So let's get our scoreboard out. Okay. They need to mirror each other. And this is how I would set them up so you don't get them. Um, turned around. Okay. So one side is going to be on this side. Okay. So I'm going to score it here. Half inch and then I'm going to counterclockwise and score it. Okay. So that this one here is going to be opposite going to be opposite so I'm going to score my half an inch here turn it counterclockwise and score my half an inch so see now that is opposite okay so now I'm going to do the same thing with piece P okay I'm going to score half an inch 
on this side, turn it clockwise, score half an inch. Okay. The other P piece is totally opposite. Oops, wrong side. Okay. We scored here and here. Now we're scoring on this side half an inch. And then turn it counterclockwise and half an inch. Okay. So now scored here, scored here, scored here, scored here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these. I'm going to put this one with this one, this one with this one. Okay. So don't get them mixed up. Because you want this one on this side, this one on this side. Okay. You want those. So just like that. So now what you're going to do, you're going to apply your tape. Okay. Apply your tape to your half inches. Okay. But I wanted to show you how to do that. And, you know, keep it straight. And Okay. So let's do this one. All right, now you're going to cut right through your X, right through that X for both pieces. Okay, right through the X. So now you're going to fold. Fold in all your half inch. Okay, because you want to do your measurements in the folded position. That's how I do mine, okay? So that's how my tutorials are wrote up. They are usually in the folded position. Oops, sorry. I knocked the camera. I'm sorry. All right. So the bigger one, which is piece O. You're measuring in one inch from the top. Okay. Make a little tick mark. So I'm going to measure in one inch from the folded edge. This is your folded edge. And make a tick mark at the very top. Oops, one inch. Ding dong. Okay. Now what you're going to do from that inch. You're going to draw a tick mark to the very end, just like this, and cut that off. Piece P is you're measuring in two and a quarter inches in and make a tick mark and draw a line. Okay. You know what? Did I fold? I folded these wrong. Or not folded. Because these go like this. So hopefully that works. So you didn't have to. You just want to make sure that this one's folded on this side. This one's folded on this side. Okay. I forgot that one don't go like that. It goes like this. Sorry about that. Told you I was a little rusty. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, if you have any questions, um, just put them down in the comments. Um, I will gladly answer any question. Let me know how you like this. Um, if you made one, what you know you might be decorating yours with, what paper line. Okay, so fold and burnish. Our two favorite words, right? Fold and burnish. <laughs> All right. So now we're measuring in, this is the folded side, okay, two and a quarter inches, and you're going to make a tick mark. Make a tick mark, just like we did the other one, and then I'm going down to the very bottom, okay, and you're going to cut that off, just like that, okay, just cut it off. And I always cut on the other side of my line, that way I don't have to worry about erasing my line okay 
Now, um, let me show you a little trick. Because some people have troubles um, when they decorate. They don't can't seem to get the paper like it is supposed to be. Okay. So when you decorate with the paper, let me let me see if I can just find just a piece of scrap paper. Here's one. Okay. Let me show you how you cut your paper for this. So our piece O pocket was, let's see, where's the measurement of that? Piece O was four and a half by five. Okay. Four and a half by five. So how I do mine. I'm going to cut this four and a half by five. No, he didn't go. So you may you measure. I told you it's been a while. So we got four and a half. So um, four and a quarter. And then we got four. So three and three quarters. So three and three quarters by four and a quarter three and three quarters by four crap four and a quarter okay so four and a quarter by three and three quarters okay so then it would fit just like oh i said i suck <laughs> So four and a quarter by three and three quarters. What did I cut this? Three and three quarters. Oh, I cut it at four and a half. That's what's wrong. Jeez. I might get it right this year, guys. So whatever your piece is, you measure it. You know, do your quarter your quarter inch because that then that way gives you a border. Now, what I do to mine, I lay this piece, I lay my piece of design paper where I want it to be. Okay. Where I want it to be. Then I grab my pencil and I mark right where your um, cardstock ends. Then with your trimmer, I have a little, um, like an eighth of an inch um border thing right here what i do is i line i gotta find my marks again here and here okay so what i do is i line those marks up right with my silver right with my silver and i just line it up with my marks right along my silver And cut and that gives me my eighth of an inch like that ta-da ta-da little tip guys little tip so hopefully that'll help you um, mat you know your angled your angled pockets that's how I do mine so hopefully it'll help someone okay All right, let's put these in. Here's our piece F on the front side of piece F. Oh, here it is. I was like, where did I do with that? So you're going to attach it and you need to put your, um, you can put your paper down first, but I wouldn't because your paper, you put your paper down and then it um, takes care of, you know, covering that up. Okay. So just like that. So I'm going to put this one down. It might be easier. Just open up your book and let F kind of just lay flat. Yes. Okay. 
So I'm just going to line it up. And when you got it, take your tape off. And then piece O goes on the other side. And remember, you have a, um, a score line there for your gusset. Do not go over in your gusset area. Okay, do not go over in your gusset. Just go up to it. Do not go in that gusset area. You just go up to it. Okay, so this creates a um, double pocket. So um, you have a pocket here. Sorry, my <laughs> and then you have a pocket here. Okay, ain't that cool? So you're going to do the same thing. Okay, this is the front. All right. So the other stack pocket is going to go right here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and apply your tape to your half inches. that one and that one that one's already okay I'm gonna cut right through my X and burnish and then I do my measurements once it's all folded okay my measurements are in the folded position all right so from the folded side we're marking one inch Make a little tick mark. And then you're making it clear to the bottom. So tick mark down to the bottom. This one here, we're going in two and a quarter inches. So make a little tick mark. And then down to the bottom. Okay. And then cut those off. The angled pockets just give it a you know a, a different dimension. Just, just adds a different accent or accessory, however you want to say it. All right. So your um, bigger pocket goes on the outside, and your smaller pocket goes in the inside. Put your smaller pocket on first. Okay, again, I'm going to unfold this here. I want to make sure I get it right. Little one goes here. Okay, so I'm going to line it up. Take my tape off. I kind of got it off. Now you're gonna line up your bigger pocket. Remember, don't go in your score, don't go in your gusset, just up to that score line, just up to it. Okay, don't go over your score line because it will affect how your folio folds. You'll you'll have resistance and it won't be good. Okay. All right, let's do a walkthrough of this. We are done with construction. Yay, you made it. You made it. You now have a folio. All right, so let me get piece F here. All right, looky there. Plenty of room for pictures. My original one wasn't as big here. I So I increased the spine for you so that way um, you could put lots of photos in here. All right. So you open it up, double pocket here, okay, you have piece, the little pocket here, 
that you put tags in and it holds all that in place or you can leave the pocket off just use magnets okay so that opens you got a flip and a flip and a flip it's a sideways waterfall okay so then you just slide your tags in there and that would keep that shut then you open this open this and then you have your belly band right here and then your tags would be peeking out again okay so there's there's piece l okay and piece m and n is your belly band all right so then here's piece f and on mine i just made a little booklet to put in here here let's let's do the little booklet just in case there's somebody that wants to know how to do the little booklet um, the little booklet uh, should measure five by eight and a half. Five by eight and a half. And you can make it any size that you really want to. I wouldn't go over five and a half, though. Okay. I wouldn't go over five and a half because then you'd have problems sticking it in and out of your pocket. So let me show you what five and a half would look like and then you take this piece and you score it right in half at four and a quarter okay it says score it four and a half is that right yes score it four and a half not four and a quarter four and a half okay four Four and a half. So you're going to have one side that's going to be just a little bit bigger and then your other side. Okay. And I will round my corners for this. I know I didn't round any other corners, but anytime I stick anything in a pocket, a lot of times I will round it because a rounded corner takes a beating more than a straight corner. And then I put a little um, pocket here with just the design paper. It had a, a design. Let me show you real quick. I don't have the album anymore. I just have pictures. But here's your pocket. Okay. Here's your pocket. And then here's your um, little booklet. I just cut out the design paper and made a insert and put tags in there. Okay. <coughs> So I just cut out an element with the design paper and put it right here. And then this got um, puck or um, tags on it. Now you can put this either either way. I think I'd put my shorter inside in and put my longer side out. I think that's what I've done. But yeah. And then, you, of course, you can stick some tags in there as well. Okay. All right, because I don't have the album to show you anymore. Um, so, yeah, all I have is my inspiration sheets is all I have anymore. Um, I will add those to the cut and guide. Um, I just took some pics of what the album after it was decorated. So that way it, it help you out or give you a design idea or whatever. But um, all my tutorials contain these inspiration sheets now. A lot of um, my ladies in my tutorial club just love these because um, it helps them if they want to decorate just like me, they can do that. Okay. So, like I said, I will put the link down below. Oh, there's the other sheet. I will put the link down below um, where you can, um, I'll give you the, the whole, the whole thing, the written instructions, the inspiration sheets, um, and the cut and guide. I'll just give you a link down there so you can grab this print it off and put it in a binder and you will always have it and then that way if you need to make a quick project guess what you've got it okay so then we um flip that this is our this was our pocket page uh, hooked to that hinge that we made in the spine so then this flips oops first we have this we have our um, double slanted pocket And then this opens up this opens up 
this opens up and then you have piece T and C in here you can put your tags inside here that's why I named it the tag full folio and that holds everything nice and tidy that opens then that opens and then you can put um, photo mats inside here and they're not going to go nowhere you got bumpers on all four sides okay you got bumpers on all fours and these might I might have even done it like that you know what I think I did I think yeah because these piece T and S are gusseted so yes piece Q folds in first then R then S and then you put your tags in here and then that folds shut that's how that that's how that was designed all right there is a tag full folio i hope you have um i hope you will make this um i hope you enjoy this um tutorial that i'm doing for you and let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it or maybe what paper line that you're going to use or just give me a thumbs up guys <laughs> that always lets me know what you guys like and what you, you know if you don't like it all right all right as always keep scrapping bye bye